Here's a sneak peek. This is a Vortex loose box I designed for my wife's wonderful company. And my uncle, who's my inspiration, he's a disabled vet. Been shot five times, fell out of a helicopter a couple times. Can't do much. I go prospecting with them. The equipment, I feel, sucks. So I've been trying to improve it. Make it easier. Support products before this and after this that are undeveloped in their stages. This one is our first prototype. It has five cells. The other one will have four cells. Even has a different slide gate mechanism. That trap door to the plenum that drops down the material to the bucket. So let's see this thing running and I'll explain its operation and put some material in it. We got about 40 gallons a minute here on this pump. We are in the stream, we take the flare off because it's too much. So if you can't see, with a little bit of bubbles I put in there, kind of what we got going on. Nice vortex action. Nice vortex action. You can really see it when we drop the material in. Clean it out. It's in a circular pattern. It's a vortex. What's happening is vortex finder, accelerated vortex finder, gravitational force pushes the material to the bottom. It's heavy. Lighter material spins out. Throws us out velocity. The cell will never overfill. It's an active cell. This is full of just gold. Even, well, we don't want to lose the black sand because the old timer safe. The black sand goes into the stream bed, you're losing the fine gold. So, we know if we're kind of full of black sand because we've concentrated our heavies and we feel it's payday. I'm going to pull my box out of the stream bed and pokey pokey with it. I'm going to put some more material in so we can see that again. No, I'm not. I feel it's payday. I've worked enough material through here. I feel I have the concentrates. I need to be taken out in this loose box. This is just a prospector hand version. Imagine what a boat dredge version or a commercial version big box would drop to. All pneumatic setup, hassle free. You know, I just can't wait. Oh, where did it all go? I just cracked it a little bit. Boy, all that stuff just went down to a plenum. And it drops into the bucket. Wow. Gold Rush season, whatever, wouldn't have had all their stuff piling over on the side of the bank if they had a system like this. Of course, a larger system would need a screen over the top, like an over and under to classify better. But, you know... Bring it if you think you got something better. You know, this is just, we're excited. The next version, we have four cells. We'll feel we'll get better velocity, better spin, because we're kind of stopping it. We got a new slide gate. Well, actually, isn't a slide gate better dropping method. So this is a prototype. It's not about being perfect. It's about making it work. We tested it in the stream bed. We love it. You know, but we're going to bring those little couple things that we just don't feel are production worthy to the table. So, there it is, guys. Hope you had fun. Prospector's Dream at Hotmail.com or Gmail.com. Prospector's Dreams. We will be marketing it here pretty soon. But we're still working on it. Here's the preview. Get ready, guys. 
And this is because I told everybody I'd give them a peek. Patent pending. Have fun. Let's go find some gold. Here's some gold that we are going to put in the sluice box. As you can see, we got crazy stuff. And then we got up in the top, very tip top, you'll see as he pulls off the black sand, we get a lot of, as he pulls it off, we should get a streak of fine gold. There it is. Okay, and, and it, we ain't getting a good view, but we got this guy, don't really show it, but there is a whole bunch of super, super, super fine gold that is up in the top you can kind of barely see it with the camera hang out hanging so we're gonna go ahead and run this even though we can't perfectly zoom in and we're gonna run it with a bunch of material that we picked up out of the stream bed that's virgin material just been shifted and so it's raw material this these are concentrates and we're going to go ahead and run this through the sluice box. As you can see, we've already loaded the cells. So we're not going to cheat and have like a unloaded box. And we're going to run this and see what we get. Alright, just so we can see gold in it and have fun. Because I want to show you that the gold is going to hang up in these two cells. And it won't even come down here. Why? Because we caught 75 pieces of lead in these two cells not one dropped but we're going to see where the fine gold goes and i want to show you in the cell where the gold hangs up so we can see this thing work all right here we go we loaded up the sluice box with a whole nother scoop just to kind of get the cells fresh again and he's dumping that gold out of that pan into that sluice box ridiculous and ridiculous here. So cells are full and they're full of heavy material. Um, from running about five scoops of material from the day before, just demoing this. And you know, we're basically done. It don't take long. You know, you kind of want to move material through the sluice, not stop it because the light material, heavy material will replenish it. So we're going to take a look at what that gold is in this guy and dealing with can you try yeah. 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 and I'm uh I'm dealing with this guy before I know the gold's going to be right in this corner right right digging with the screwdriver because that's where all the lead ended up but no one brags about their lead on the internet because everybody wants to see gold and I don't know what that shiny thing is I can see it on the camera but Looks golly like. gee it's gold and so you see we got some gold right here in this corner and that's where it's going to end up down with the heavies and if you notice with this poor lighting most of the rocks are dark color they're the magnetite, helgamite, I don't know whatever it's called you know I'm not a geologist but we got this gold in here so anyways We're going to come over to this side, and I can already see the other piece of large gold underneath there. Well, there they are. No, my, right where I thought they'd be, because you know, when you drop 75, they're all, they're, they all have four big pieces, little pieces. When you drop all um, uh, 75 pieces of lead in a box, and none of them make it past the first two cells, that's pretty cool, because you know gold weighs twice as much as lead, so... It's going to be twice as efficient. Now is what we're going to do. So we're going to sucker out these top two cells. 
But we're going to look at the gold that's in those two cells. We're not even going to mess with these ones. But we're going to see how much of our gold we got back just on these top two cells. And then we'll compare. After that, we'll pan out all the rest. We'll do a comparison of how efficient this loose box is. Sorry, i got to break it, but you'll just have to trust me. Yeah, right. What what Dave say? Dave says a prospector is... A liar with a hole in the ground. And a shovel in his hand. <laughs> All right. When you have a sluice box that's self-draining, And you gotta scoop the dang material out by hand. Kinda makes you realize why other people's crap don't work. It's a pain in the butt. Retarded. Mean comments like that. The next version, of course, is going to have um, uh, individually acting gates, so we wouldn't have this problem. We would just be able to dump per gate. This is going to be a little bit of a chore. I got a super sucker bottle that's like a grape juice container with a quarter inch line that will suck the fines out with. <laughs> we don't like breaking it out because it scares people. All right, we're gonna see what's in here. I'm sorry, I ain't gonna waste forever filming this. There you go. Oh yeah, you can see the gold in the pan. You can see down here in the pan. Of course we got the big pieces back. We saw those. Well, yeah, that's... We know we get those. There, we finally got a good yeah, shake. Yeah, now we're going. That's a lot better. And all the fines. Well, some people still call that big gold. I see well, a little ball yeah, of mercury in there. It must be from the... Oh, great. Okay, there they are. I know we can be able to see them, but I got them. If we focus on this corner, yeah. you can't see them because our camera oh, sucks. Yeah. But it's on the green. There's a whole bunch of really speckly... Yeah, hold your, hold your pan still, Davey. Look at down here. You see all the specks of it. All the light stuff here. And uh, trying to get the right distance. Yeah, the camera. The iPod sucks. Oh well. Is that gold that's floating? Holy yep. cow, look yes, at that is. gold float. Yep. Need some soap. Water. We running. um uh just opened the took the hose off and opened the gates just a little bit and the residual water brought some out there. Yep, just toggle it a little bit, Dave. Just just a little more. It's good. You see we're just bringing material out. Oh, ain't that just gorgeous? Just keep doing that until our love return to us, my precious. <laughs> yeah. Our salted claim. Now, yeah, if we're lucky, calm down, Dave. You know, blow it out over the top. Um, uh, if we're lucky, we will get a little bit more back because this was fresh material. All right, we're gonna screw a little bit more. Oh. Yeah, but we're gonna blow material out over here if we're not too careful. But anyways, I mean, if we just all right, we're gonna play with this one when we get our pan full. Well, in our failing light, let's zoom in on our gold that's left over from all the other cells. There's some fine gold you can't see. Over here in this corner, I got some, yeah, what a joke. Anyways, and there's more down to black sand. I got way too much black sand. I need to cut that in half for that pan if I was to 
be ridiculous spec finder, which I have been in the past. But you can see out of all that gold we put in there, that's what came into the air cells. And so, I don't know. Do you think it works? I don't know. I think it works. Okay, well, when we get professional and cool and big and popular and all that kind of stuff, we'll actually have a real video. For now, you'll just have to take it with a grain of gold.